that's what I'm talking about in my video on TikTok. The exact same kid from last year from CHS. The exact same kids who thinks all this is a joke. To sit there and harass someone. Knowing I've dealt with this last year. I didn't pay attention to the dates. But it was one time in eight months. We were at a park. I was with my fiance and we were with a friend. They popped up. That guy showed up. Then he called the one who liked to get violent towards me. And then seven months in a row like crazy. I was trying to get little kids in the mix. Knowing one of these boys are from CHS Crawfordsville. That's the one in the red who called the guy who likes to get violent towards me. For seven months in a row. That park incident was a one time in eight months. Okay, and then seven months kept going almost every day, every day. The bad part is that they know the neighbors right next door to me. That's the bad part about it. Okay, that's what I mean. These kids literally, this one kid from CHS from Crawfordsville, I'm actually about to show you who these kids are. I'm about to get to it, who their faces are. If you know any of these kids, let me know. You know any of these kids from Crawfordsville? Right here? You recognize any of these kids that's been doing gang stalking, RICO crime, and RICO acts, and doing organization? You know any of these kids from Crawfordsville, Indiana? You know these kids from CHS? Does any parents know who these kids belong to? It's not a fun and game when you're gang stalking and doing RICO acts and doing organization for so many years. Does any parent know who these kids' parents are in Crawfordsville, Indiana? Because these kids think they're cute by what they do. And knowing just yesterday that kid in the red is starting up again. This is two years. He's keeping it up. And nobody's not putting that kid in check by screwing with me. That kid's going to end up with a felony. Because that's what he likes to do. All last year, seven months in a row, he kept it up. Kept it up. Knowing I got proof of it. Look how many times... These kids are doing RICO acts out here. I didn't know he went to CHS. I don't know if he recently graduated or not. Look at all that harassment towards someone from CHS. You know, you know that kid from Crawfordsville, Indiana? Why are you getting other people's kids in the middle of this act? Do you know they can end up in prison by what they're doing? And knowing I kind of bitched about the outlaws. And knowing that the FBI knows that there is somebody getting teenagers in the mix of harassing people out here. Do you know any of these kids? Kids' face. I'm talking about the one in the red the one with the hat on was the first time around. Now I'm talking about the one below him. That's the main one who's the ringleader of doing it around town. Because I actually snapped on that kid yesterday. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people heard it when they drove by. And there was a lot of bikers riding out yesterday. I didn't realize they had um, their girlfriends with them. I didn't realize there was a whole bunch of bikers riding around. I didn't I didn't realize that how bad it was. So you know for a fact one of those people may have heard me screaming to get a predator away from me. Why are you bringing people in the middle of something knowing you can go to prison for?
You know, gang stalking and RICO acts and organization crime is going to be felony charges. That's not cute. And the one in the red with the gray shorts, that knows my next door neighbor. Knows him personally. So I'm dealing with neighbors who lets this kid, I don't know if it's his uncle that lives right next door. I don't know if that's his uncle, but I'm not going to allow this kid to keep it up for two years with me. That's why that that's why it sounds like I lost my voice because I screamed at him because I was ganged up on by different people. Now, I don't know if, if that's the exact same kid in the pink, but this kid in the red with the gray shorts is getting kids in the middle of what he's doing. You know, the outlaws are going to get you hurt, boy, out here. You're going to be hurting family members out here. And I'm really hoping and pray to God that someone's ears are listening to hopefully their parents will do something about it to stop it. That's what I'm doing. This is why I'm doing this for a reason. Because for whoever these kids belong to, I'm talking about the one in the pink, the red, and the um, gray sweatpants, and the hat, and the red. That's where it first started. Eight month, eight month ago, last year started. He followed us, and then he called the one with the one talking to our neighbor to show up to start on me. They've been gang stalking me and doing RICO acts upon me and doing organization towards me. And trying to get little kids in the middle of it. Littler ones. That's why I'm speaking upon this and hopefully somebody's parent will actually say something to get it to stop. Do you, are, are you seriously letting your kids be a predator towards me in this town? Are you unaware that your kids are being predators towards me? Are you unaware of that? I'm not the type of person for your kids to be coming at like that. I hurt predators in this town. I hurt them. I don't play around. Are you unaware of what your kids are doing to me. I'm 29, almost hitting 30. I don't play with punks like that out here. My family don't play with punks who are messing with my life with the outlaws that's been trying to kidnap me. I really hope somebody's family is listening to this and take this very seriously. I don't play with predators. Eventually, I'm going to actually hurt one of these kids. If you don't get them to back off of me. And especially, they're helping the outlaws. You better tell your kids, don't be playing in that crap. They're going to end up dead. That's not cool. That you parents are unaware of that your kids are being rapists and predators towards women out here. Now, I don't know who the one with the weapon in their hand is. I don't know who the other guy is. But like I said, it first started eight months. That first picture with the guy wearing a hat, that's where it first started last year. And it didn't stop until it hit seven months in a row. And then that recent picture was from yesterday. So I'm being gang stalked two times in a row by the exact same kid. If they're helping the outlaws, you better get your family to back off of me. I don't play with people being predators and trying to attack me. I will hurt one of your kids. And my family will get involved. I have every right to scream if you are unaware as a parent that your child is being a predator towards me. You need to be more aware of what your kids are doing and what they're playing with. If you're unaware, you better start doing your research. And you better start telling your kids to lay off of me. I don't like rapists. I don't like predators. Keep coming and screwing with me and trying to gang up on me. This dude with the red and the gray sweatpants, it was him and two other people. You're going to have men gang up on me knowing I didn't have to call for backup. 
at the dog park? Are you out of your mind? What type of fucking parents are you out here? Do you let your kids be a predator towards females? What is wrong with you? This is why your boys end up dead on the streets. Because you parents are fuck-ups. That's what pisses me off. Because if you were a real parent, you would get your kids and fucking check. Because you got to remember, three, three of him and his friends ganging up on me, and I'm by myself, and there were people who witnessed your children circling me two times and screwing with me. I hurt predators in this town. I'll make you famous. And that's your problem. Because you can't, you can't even know what your kid's doing. So if you are unaware that your kid is a rapist or a predator towards me, you got a serious problem on your hands. You need to put your kid in check before your kids end up dead of what they do to women out here. This town is fucked. This town is not like what it was. There's parents doped out, drugged out, fucking drunks who don't do something then guess what and then they want to cry a river and then when they really find out why their boy was killed for is because you're unaware of what they're doing to women and it really doesn't matter how old you are because they're I'm pretty sure one of them just graduated from Crawfordsville I'm 29 I'm almost hitting 30 I'm not going to tolerate him and his buddies are going to be ganging up on women. You know, that's predator. You know, that's a rapist, right? That's a predator mindset. Your boy is not going to keep coming at me and keep harassing me with men. You're done. And you're done having the outlaws help you too. What, you are trying, like, are you seriously trying to help the outlaws to kidnap me and try to torture me and murder me? You, boy, is playing on the streets where you shouldn't be playing. Because I promise you, the big dogs are going to make you go underneath the porch. I really hope somebody's parent is on here right now. I don't care if you're their cousin. I don't care if you're their aunt or uncle. I don't care. You need to get them kids under control. Because I don't appreciate predators coming around me. And gang stalking me and doing Rico crime. And knowing they're actually the outlaws got a hold of your kids without your acknowledgement. You better get your kids under control before your kids end up dead and gone. This is bullshit. And then... The, these families cry, well, my son was killed. Well, do you know the real reasons why? This is why their boys no. get killed and on the streets. Because you're unaware of what they're doing. You don't know about their secretive stuff. Do you know that as a woman, it doesn't matter if you're a teenager. It does not matter if you're in your 20s. It doesn't matter if you're almost in 30s. You do have a right to scream at a predator to get away from you. And he's acting like a damn fucking rapist towards me. And I will hurt him if I keep seeing him fucking with me and screwing with me. You people are going to let your kid die on the streets. You got people and families who don't play out here. You got certain women who are not weak. You got women who will hurt a dude or a boy or a teenager who's trying to act like they're grown. If you just graduated from CHS, you're a teenager. But since now you're 18, they can treat you like an adult and show you what it's like. How predators will get treated. I don't care. This is ridiculous. I cannot believe that you, parents of all people, do not pay attention to what your kids are doing to females on the streets. And also, they may have an association that you parents don't know about them helping the outlaws get people murdered and snatched up you're unaware of it you people need to start looking in and looking out for your kids I'm not a parent but I'm just saying no this is bullshit that people are unaware of this and they don't want to do something about it 
They don't want to put them in check. Well, guess what? The streets are going to put them in check, and guess what? They're going to be put six feet under. That's how they're going to learn. There's certain people out here who will hurt someone who is constantly gang-stalking them, knowing I was one person. But there were three, three men... I am assuming they graduated from CHS, so I would say three men, I'm a one female. But then when I screamed at them that they're a rapist and they're a predator, they better get the hell away from me, you working with the outlaws, they called backup, and that person had a weapon. I'm a female, I do have a right to scream at you to get away from me. I will cause a scene, because I'm doing it for my safety reasons. I don't know what's wrong with you people in Crawfordsville anymore, but half you parents are fuck-ups. If you're letting your children do this to women out here, do you know that one of these times your children are going to run into someone, they're going to keep doing what they're doing, your sons are going to end up dead and gone. Vanish. Poof. And then you want to cry a river and say you want justice, but do you not know what your boys are doing or who they're helping? Do you not know that the outlaws have been on a spree and they've been using teenagers down here to do their dirty work to snatch people up in different places? No, you do not. You people better start putting your sons in check because there are women who have tasers now these days you got women who got knives on them there's women who got pepper spray then you got women who got bats on them there's women who are caring because they don't trust people now these days because little boys who are trying to act like they're grown men being a predator towards a female you better start putting your sons in check before uh, some bikers get in the middle of this and do it for you. And it won't be pleasant. Uncle Mark Dolph, if he was still alive and he knew what this boy was doing to me, he would have got a hold of the Hells Angels very quickly upon that boy. Very quickly. And he would have not been dealt with very nicely on the streets. That's why you don't come at women. That's a problem. But you parents thinks it's normal, but then you want to bitch out a person for going after your son, but you don't want to sit there and understand the situation, which that's not okay. That your sons are not going to admit that they're doing RICO acts. They're not going to admit to you they're doing gang stalking. They're not going to admit to you that they're doing organization towards a woman. They're not going to tell you they're being a predator towards a female. They're not going to tell you that. And they're definitely not going to tell you if they're helping the outlaws. They're not going to tell you. You better start paying attention. Because that's why how certain people disappear. I got a biker family. They don't play with men like that or little boys who thinks that they're men ganging up on a female like that or acting like a predator. I get mean. I get hateful. I'm very violent towards that because when I heard the outlaw saying they're going to kidnap me is because I was kidnapped when I was 10 or 11 years old by the son of silence when I was little. And then now there's another biker group trying to do the exact same thing. Knowing I'm 29, I'm almost in 30. This is why I'm so violent. This is why I'm not so kind to others anymore. And it doesn't help when the neighbors keep allowing this kid to keep doing what they're doing. If you are, if seriously, if this, if this kid knows you that lives right next door to me, you better take care of it. You better put him on a leash because my family will find out who he is and who his friends are and they don't care if these little boys are 18 they're acting like they're grown they're acting like they are a predator they are attacking females that's not okay your boys are gonna about to get wrecked you're lucky you're lucky uncle mark dolph my uncle is not alive because he would have got a hold of the hell's angels and they would have been taken care of and it wouldn't have been pleasant for them or their family. 
You shouldn't let your sons keep doing what they're doing, but you're unaware. That's not okay. That's how kidnapping happens. That's how stuff happens. That's how women get hurt. Because they, because honestly, your sons are preying upon people. Your sons are preying upon people in Crawfordsville, Indiana. Do you really think that looks cute upon your family? That you're letting your sons prey upon women? No, it's not cute. It's a very serious thing out here. And if they're unaware, they better start being aware of what they're allowing these kids to do. Like I said, they keep they keep doing this to a female. It's going to end up bad for them. And they really cannot cry river. And they cannot play victim. I don't know why I say that. Because you're showing patterns that you are a predator towards me. You are gang stalking me. You are doing Rico upon me. And you're doing organization. You're helping the outlaws to hurt me. You better get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> you boys ain't cute. Real men will show you what real fear is out here. They will show you what they do to a predator out here to get you boys to act right if your family can't do it. That's what I'm saying, though. I even have proof of it. And these kids, these boys that may have graduated from CHS, you cannot play victim out here. You're trying to. But how can you play victim knowing what proof I got? started eight months from that park and then you kept going on for seven months in a row towards me and then you stopped when you caught me recording your ass when you were talking to the neighbor and I snapped upon you why is the neighbors not doing anything about you kid why are they allowing you to be a predator and a rapist towards me huh I don't like men doing that to me. I don't like you circling me with your friends. I get violent. I will hurt people if I've had enough of you. I'm going to feel bad if I end up in jail because I beat the crap out of a predator when it get the hell away from me. I would feel really bad. But you know what? That kid's pushing it to a limit where I'm going to hurt him. Because you're being a damn predator. You're acting like a rapist towards me. You are acting like a outlaw towards me. You better knock it off. I'm not playing with you kids anymore. You're gonna piss off a lot of people. In this town. And you actually think. You think that nobody knows what you're doing. But people already knew what you were doing. You didn't know I was recording you kids years ago because I had to do proof to make sure that you didn't lie upon me saying I tried to beat you when I didn't. That's why I had to record just to show proof that you were gang stalking me and doing Rico acts and that you were helping someone to bother me and it's the outlaws. That's got you in the middle of a very, very bad situation. Like I said, I was kidnapped by the son of silence when I was 10 or 11 years old. Uh uh, I'm not. I'm not about to have little boys who's trying to help the outlaws to kidnap me. No, I'll hurt you. Because that experience really gave me PTSD. That really, really did it. And I feel like my old ways are coming back. And I believe it's for a good reason, even though it's not really a good thing. I don't care. You're done attacking females. And I believe you've been doing this to a lot of girls in town. That's what you do. You harass people. Just because somebody tells you to, what, you are, like, literally, if they tell you to go do something, are you going to do it? Are you going to be dumb enough to do it? Are you going to be actually smart enough to say no? It looks like to me, 
You're keeping it up. Eight months, one time, and then a lot, seven months in a row, and then you want to start back up on me recently, yesterday. You're just mad because you're being called out. I really hope somebody's parent from Crawfordsville is listening in. I'm not playing around. You might know Uncle Mark Dolph, and you know how he don't play around who comes after me. And I know most people knew how Uncle Mark Dolph was. He hurts rapists. He hurts predators who goes after his family. And somehow, I don't know how I got his personality, but I do. You people, you parents, better start putting your kids in check before another person does. Because if another person does, like if other people are aware of what your sons are doing, aware of what they're doing, that means if they're doing it to me, that means they're doing it to others too in town. That means they're probably preying upon people that's older than them. That's not okay to be a predator. You better put that in check. And I know that neighbor across the street from me, next door to me, I'm not kidding you, knows that kid. I don't care if you're their uncle or somebody, you better put that kid in check and you better tell that kid to stop being a rapist and a predator towards me. Because I will scream at him every time I see him now to get that predator away from me. And I don't care if the cops get called. You will keep a predator. You will keep your rapist of a family member away from me. You will keep that boy away from me. I don't care who you are. You're going to keep him away from me. I don't allow that crap in my life. It's already bad enough. I had experienced the son of silence getting at me when I was 10 or 11 years old. And then now these kids are trying to help the outlaws to do the exact same thing. Uh Uh-uh. I don't think so. And then I could prove how long they've been stalking me for. This is like two years. Two years. And these kids just probably graduated from CHS. And they're probably going to get mad and butt hurt. Be like, well, you dummy, you got caught. Or maybe the fact of maybe they didn't realize I was recording them, which is probably a good thing. They probably, but right now I don't care. I don't care that you're being recorded by me. Because then I could prove what you're doing towards me. You're being a predator towards me and you will stop. You will stop. The shenanigans. You will stop what you're doing because you're going to end up dead and gone. People don't play on the streets. I've known rough people in my lifetime to understand don't do that. Because if you're going to keep preying upon, let me see, I'm 29, I'm almost in 30, so that means these kids are going out here and preying upon females. And thinking it's a game and a joke. Uh Uh-uh. No, you ain't. You ain't no joke when you're attacking a female or trying to be a predator and trying to gang up on a female. You ain't powerful. You a weak. You weak as hell. I really hope somebody from Crawfordsville, Indiana is listening. And I hope and pray to God you get your kid. I don't care if you're their uncle, aunt, sibling, cousin. I don't care. You better, you better get that people under control before I hurt them. And get them the hell away from me and make it stand clear that the outlaws are bitches too. I'm not kidding you. This is not okay. That means if they are attacking me, they're doing it to a lot of people in Crawfordsville too. They are preying upon people with outlaws. Uh-uh. I don't think so. There's a lot of people who will not stand for it. It will not go for it. I promise you that. I promise you that. They won't. I promise you that. And I'm not I'm not actually mad at the parents. 
I'm just mad at the fact of why are you unaware of what your family member is being a rapist out here towards others? Why are you allowing your boys to be predators towards females and doing Rico acts? How are you unaware of this? Like, are you a... Like, are you like a druggy parent? Are you like a drunk parent? Like, are you that really unaware of what your kids are doing to other people in town? Are you unaware that they're working with the outlaws, you know, like bikers? Are you that unaware? Or do you not just don't care? See, now this is the key word. Either one of the reasons why them parents don't care about these kids is because they probably tried They've had enough, or maybe, too, maybe they're just going to let their kids die and not give a damn. I don't know. It's a really weird scenario. And knowing they call backup. But problem is, is that him and his two friends, that would make him, yeah, that's about one, two, three, three boys on a bike, but then you get mad at a female for screaming at you to get away from her because you're a predator. You know, I don't want you near me. So then you call back up in that video recently from this year. So why are you being cowards? You know what you did to me. You purposely provoked it. Why are you calling back up for what you can't fight on your own? Because it seemed like you were circling me yesterday pretty harshly. And people saw you kids do it yesterday. You just graduated from CHS. You kids are going to end up dead and gone if you don't stop what you're doing. There's a lot of people that knows of me. When I speak upon something, they actually know what I'm saying. And usually I do try to prove it. When I can. Because there were people that were trying to underestimate me. There were people who were making fun of me. Until I started taking screenshots and started showing proof. Now guess what? Now people can't laugh in my face anymore. People can't really make fun of me anymore. They cannot call me schizophrenic. And they cannot keep calling me crazy anymore. Because what you gonna do with the proof in your face? Huh? Huh? That's what I'm saying, though. That's why it's always better to document everything down. And I totally forgot to put this down, too. When I did that paper trail, I totally forgot to put that down about them. Well, this can actually be an add-on to my paper trail, which is not a big deal. But that's what I'm saying, though. You kids actually think this is a joke out here. This is how people end up dead and gone. This is how people get very agitated. There's going to be enough people who's going to get so tired of hearing it over and over and over again. Mm, I'm hiccuping. Don't know why. I'm burping. Don't know why. But, yeah, there's going to be enough people who's going to get sick and tired of hearing this. And there's going to be people who are going to step in. And take care of it if their parents can't or their cousins or their uncles or their aunts can't. They're they're going to bring in people who's actually going to step up and actually get it to stop. I'm not kidding you. This is ridiculous. And honestly, as a female, you really shouldn't have to scream to get predators away from you. Like you really shouldn't have to. But if you have to make a scene to get them away from you, do it. It don't matter how old you are, because at the exact same time, how do you not know they're trying to distract you when, like, see, see what I mean? Maybe they're trying to distract me so I don't pay attention to who's behind me. See, that that's what they do. Like, that's almost like a kidnapping behavior thing. So that's why I have to pay attention around me at all times because how do I not know those kids are used for a, di- for a distraction to not let me know what's going on and then I get snatched by the outlaws. How do I not know that? They're helping someone out for sure 
They sure are. It's not normal for boys like that to be predators towards a woman or to attack or constantly doing stuff. It's not normal unless they're affiliated in something that people are unaware of. You know, it's just bringing awareness out. I really, hopefully, pray to God, I really hope somebody's family member is hearing me out because it's not a funny game and joke anymore out here of what they are doing. They're trying to get little kids in the middle of this. So if they are 18, they're trying to get little ones involved. I'm talking about like maybe 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's who they're trying to get in the mix of this. And you will stop doing that. You will stop trying to get others, families, little... Oh my gosh, I hate this when people do this. Because i seen it. I caught it. I caught it. That they were trying to bring a little kid in the middle of this crap. You will not do that. I don't care who you are. You're going to stop it. And when I did a video, no thinking of the brain, that's what I meant. You don't bring kids in. And see, I even did a video showing how many times they went by me and tried to get close to me. The reasons why I record at the time is so that I don't get accused of something and they're trying to lie upon me. That's why I record for it. But there was a couple of times. How many times was it? They went by about four or five out. I'm pretty sure it's on here somewhere. Because I had it on here before. About this kid kept going by trying to get aggressive with me on purpose. Literally going by like four, five, six, seven times a day in a row. Just screwing with me. And he thought it was funny. Seven months in a row. He quit until started yesterday. That's a long time of gang stalking, harassing, doing organization, and doing RICO acts. That's a very long time in almost everyday thing. And these kids think that they're funny? No, you're not. You are not funny by doing RICO crime or gang stalking or organization groups. You are not funny out here. I really hope, I really hope somebody or maybe, maybe somebody of their friends might know their family and might tell them, hey, they might need to stop. I'm hoping somebody with common sense will actually get something to these kids' parents' heads. I got a biker family who do not play out here. Uncle Mark Dolph is my family member. He didn't play with little boys like that who are being predators and being rapists and ganging up on women out here. He hurt them people in town. He was very well known in Crawfordsville. Uncle Mark Dolph didn't play with men like that. I'm the exact same way in a very shockingly scary thing to say. But they're going to end up dead and gone if they don't stop what they're doing. And that's not cool. Like, somebody is trying to fit in. That does not make you cool doing something to someone just to fit in. This does not make you cool. This does not make you look like you're big and macho. No, you're showing you are a predator towards women. You prey upon people. That is not cool and that's not fitting in. The only thing you're fitting in is that you are a part of something that you are hurting people. That's not cool of doing something to someone and then you're trying to influence somebody to do wrong when you know what's going on but your friends don't know and you got them along. Do you know that makes them an accomplice with you? That's not okay. This is what I don't understand. And th this is actually why people get so frustrated at me on this app. This is what I'm talking about. Is that whenever I talk about things, I irritate people. 
I frustrate people to death. Um, excuse me, why is it wrong of me to bring awareness out there of what their children are doing? Why, why is that a crime? What? Is it like wrong? No, I will speak up because I was raised by bikers. I know how to hurt someone if I need to. I don't want to have to come down to it. I don't want to. But if this kid keeps coming at me with his three friends, you keep getting up on me with your three friends that there's nothing but men around me and you keep circling me, you're you're going to trigger something out of me where I was kidnapped before. You're going to get hurt by me. And it's going to be a reaction of protecting myself because I think you're trying to do something towards me. That's going to be on your guys' fault and it will be self-defense. Because you were getting violent towards me a year ago because of your nonsense. You will stop of what you are doing. I don't care who you are. This is ridiculous. And then these parents always wonder, well, my kid, mama. Well, gee, did you actually, like, do you actually know See this, see, this is what I'm trying to say, though. Kids and boys like that, their parents cry a river because their sons were murdered. But do you know the real reasons of why they're doing it? I got a biker family. I kind of was taught how to defend myself. I'm not perfect, but I should act like a lady. But <laughs> screw that out the door. Half time I don't act like a lady. It's because I've been around gruff family members. I know how it's like out here. And you should scream. And that's what I was also taught to by my biker family. Is that if there are... It does not matter how old they are. If they're like 18 or whatever they are. And I'm older than them. I was taught by Uncle Mark Dolph. You scream on top of your lungs to get attention. Uncle Mark Dolph has always taught me that if there are people ganging up on me and they are boys that's trying to act like men or they're trying to act like they're a predator towards me, scream on top of my lungs if I have to. Not for attention. He taught me that. He taught me to scream so I don't know how he did it. But that's what he taught me. Uncle Mark Dolph taught me scream to get people's attention cause a scene that will get people away from you I have never that has never left my head and that's why my voice is a little screwed up because I was screaming yesterday I didn't care if you're a predator I'm going to get you away from me you ain't coming near me I don't know your attentions, and I'm a female, and I had stuff happen to me too many times more than once. And you're coming at me like that, I'll hurt you. If you push me enough, you're lucky my family don't get to you before I do. But that's what I'm saying, though. You should always teach your boys out here not to be a predator towards a female. Because one of these days, your boys are going to run into a female who they think is weak. And who is a prey? Come to find out, she got to fight like a bro. And then they're going to be crying and boo-hooing. They're about to find out. There are some women out here who are brawlers. You don't know what anybody has been through. But what those kids are doing, they're bringing stuff back up. In my head, that shouldn't be brought back. Like I said, I was kidnapped by the son of silence when I was 10 or 11 years old. And then the outlaws are bragging about that too. I'm about to hurt that kid if he keeps it up. Because he's acting like an outlaw towards me. In my right, my constitution as a female, I have a right to scream at you. If you have anything to do with the outlaws of trying to kidnap me, trying to murder me, or trying to do something towards me, or you're being a predator towards me, I will scream at you. And I know there were plenty of bikers, and I know there was a couple of women with their, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know. That's how I would say it. I'm not going to call them old ladies because it's not nice. I see it as boyfriend, girlfriend, but... 
I know there was a few of them was concerned, but they never got involved. They were just concerned and wondering, what the crap was that? That's it. Because when writers hear a female screaming, you are rapist, you are predator, get the fucking hell away from me. Trust me, writers will hear it. They'll check on you, but they're not going to say nothing to you. They're just concerned about you. There's a difference. That's what I'm saying, though. These kids better stop what they're doing. You better stop being a predator towards females. Because they're going to end up dead and gone if they don't stop. And honestly, I really don't feel bad for them. I really don't. And knowing that the neighbor right across from me allows these kids to do what they do to me. Mm Mm-mm. I don't think so. I will cause a scene. I don't care if I'm outside on the fucking front porch. I ain't gonna let no fucking predator come at me. I'll probably get off the porch and start screaming at him. I'm not about to have outlaws or mongols screw with me just because somebody and the outlaws are on a murder kick right now. And I know the outlaws have gotten a hold of teenagers to get in the middle of this murder spree to do something to get people snatched up in different towns and different states. People are aware of what is going on. But these kids think that you're so dumb out here. These kids think you're so naive when you're not. They don't know nothing much. They're a kid. But they want to act grown. Trust me and believe they ain't. They're not going to like what grown folks are about. When it comes to them being predators towards women. Or trying to be a rapist towards women. Or gang stalking or circling a female. Oh, trust me, they're about to find out what grown will show them. I don't care. That's what they get. That's why you leave people alone. That's why I don't like going out and about anymore. Because this kid always seems to get a... This kid is always being called that I'm over there. I've even talked about this last year. This kid is getting a phone call. And they're telling him where I'm at. This is two times. This has been going on for two years. Somebody's contacting this kid and telling him where I'm at to start on me. Well, guess what? You keep that up. Eventually, somebody's going to know your address. Somebody's going to want to know who your family member is. And they're going to want to know who your friends are. They're going to find out what school you went to, and they're going to probably... I may have to ask Coach Gerald, whose kid is this? I may have to ask Coach Gerald, who is this kid that keeps trying to be a predator towards me? I may have to ask somebody from CHS, who the hell does this kid... Like, what the hell is he about? I know you ain't no damn brotherhood. I know that for a damn fact. You ain't no brotherhood. You're just thugging it out here. That's all you're doing. You're thugging. Real thugs would fuck you up out here. Because they know that you're a boy. And they'll turn you into a man, but it ain't going to be pleasant if you're thugging out here. Real thugs would tear you up. Real thugs would tear you alive on the streets. They would break you down so bad. You probably wouldn't survive it. So this kid thinks he's all macho and thinks he's all cool trying to get his buddies in the mix, his his buddies to be predators towards women. Be careful with what you do out here. Be careful how you circle a woman. When you're ganging up on a female and you're circling her, you're showing that you're a rapist and you're a predator and you're a pedophile. You better be careful with how you come at a female. Like I said, now these days they got tasers, they got pepper spray, and they got knives on them. They actually got real weapons. Even some of the women carry guns. Now, or I meant pew pew, excuse me. Pew pew. 
now these days. These kids are about are going to run into a wrong female who's going to hurt them. Or men who are going to show these boys what it's like to be a pedophile. It's what it is. That's why you don't keep stalking a female. This is why you don't do RICO acts. This is why you don't keep organization. This is why you don't keep up what you're doing. For this long, you're ridiculous. This is how stuff happens. This is how everything happens. I'm not saying they're perfect. That's not what I'm saying. But something's not normal. They're involved in something. They're just not speaking upon it. Which, it's... Mm -mm, well, it, it is obvious. Because think about it. You would think usually 18-year-olds would mind their own business. You don't see 18-year-olds trying to be a predator. You don't see normally 18-year-olds trying to gang up on a female. You don't see that now these days. But what these kids are showing to me, they're a pedophile. I don't care. You will get wrecked by someone out here if you keep that crap up. And knowing that those kids were seen two times bothering me. There were there was about maybe two two witnesses who seen these kids come by once. Like I said, I let it go. Second time, I just outbursted. Because now you now explain that to me. Why would you come by once and then come by again? And then you expect me to stay quiet? No, you're a predator and you're going to get the hell away from me. You will get away from me. And you will stop your crap. I'm going to scream at you every time. I don't care who you are. You are going to stop. You know what? If these kids do it once, they're going to keep having patterns. And then that's when it becomes an issue. You don't know what retaliation is. You're doing something because the outlaws told you to do it. So you're being someone's bitch, which is really bad on your part. So that means you're helping, you're helping to get people snatched and killed and murdered and tortured, huh? Oh, that makes you so cool, right? You're gonna hurt your friends in the end of what you're trying to get them in the middle of. This is BS on your end of what you do to others. And it is. It is BS. For sure, BS. That's him talking to the neighbor. He's talking to the neighbor. That's the same one on the bike. That's been doing all this crap. Then there's that backup for whoever they called. I should have gotten that picture where it was at the park. I don't know if I got that picture or not. Probably don't. Well, I probably do. Yeah, it's right there, right above him. Yeah, they, they, that guy, I don't know who is my neighbor, but I feel, I feel like you're helping them to keep this up. I feel like you're not stopping it. I feel like you're a family member to that guy or that kid right there. That's why I feel like you're helping him to keep this up. Are you helping him to be a pedophile? Looks like it to me you are.
you would think common sensely you would try to get it to stop because it's gonna cause nothing but issues for him in life and knowing how serious it can get for him getting others in the middle of this too for sure anybody knows these boys from Crawfordsville, Indiana any of them know their families to let them know because apparently their parents are unaware of this or they're allowing it for their sons to be pedophiles towards me that means if they're doing it towards me they're doing it towards every other woman not my problem you shouldn't have been coming at me for so many years you 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 know any of these people from Crawfordsville, Indiana you know these boys from CHS you know any of these any of these boys that I'm showing right now you know any of these people you know any of them you know who their families are because I believe they're unaware of what their boys are up to and what they're doing. Hopefully their dads are halfway decent to get it to stop. I hope. Because I know certain dads now these days get on to men like that or get on to their boys now these days. Usually, if they're halfway decent of a father... You know any of these people from CHS? They might be 18, I don't know. But I know they're helping the Mongols, and I know they're helping the outlaws with something out here that is not very pleasant. But if you do know who these kids are, or if you know their families... Your boys are being pedophiles towards me, and they're being predators towards me. Hopefully you are aware of that. Of them stalking me, too. For two years. I think I'm about to deal with two years of this crap. Now, I'm going to have a reason... Why I'm going to have to carry something on me now. That gives me a reason to scream at them to get them away from me. That gives me a reason to do it every time. This piffle. That they're going to get so mad... This is why I record and keep proof. Because now their mom and dads cannot call me a liar. They can't hide what their sons have been doing towards me. They can't hide it. And I know God and my ancestors have control over it. It's out of my hands. There ain't nothing I can do about it. They're the ones who are wanting this smoke. I promise you they're not going to be able to handle it. I bet you not. I just want... See, th this is actually the kicker, though. Is that a lot of people in Crawfordsville, like women, we, we deal with some really odd things down here. And I don't know why I'm the only one speaking up upon it. Why am I the only female catching this odd stuff? And then other women look at me like I'm stupid or something. But how can how can you sit there and call me schizophrenic when I could show the proof of what I'm talking about? How can you call me crazy? How can you keep calling me everything when proof is in your face? I don't get it, and I will never understand it. I even talked about this. There's been a pattern that's been going on that needs to be stopped. 
And if I got to call bikers in this town to get their attentions, I said I'll do it to make sure that women and children are protected. I wasn't playing. I wasn't joking around. But I do have a right to protect myself from people who are showing traits of pedophileness towards me. I ain't going to deal with you. I'll tell you, get the hell away from me. I'll scream at you. I don't care. You ain't going to be coming at me and thinking you're cute. I'm related to Uncle Mark Dolph out here. You're lucky. Because if he was still alive, he would have paid them boys a visit and their families a visit and would have had a very serious conversation with their parents of what is wrong with you. You know what I mean? You're lucky. But I know now he's my ancestor, so he's taking care of it. But just like I said, I just thought I would bring this to awareness out here. That people cannot call me crazy. They cannot call me schizophrenic. And they better stop playing the victim. Because that's what they're doing. They're playing victim knowing of what they do to others. God forgive them for they not know what they do even though they are doing something and playing with fire that's going to hurt them in the long run. Forgive them for they not know what they do. Oh, this is really annoying. Really pitiful. Out here. For real, for real. And then men wonder why. See, but then when parents hear something, they get very frustrated. It's because they kind of don't want to believe that their boys are being pedophiles. They don't want to believe it. They don't want to hear it of what their sons are doing to a female or females out here because they don't want to believe it. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to believe that their boys are showing traits of pedophiles, of being a predator and being a prayer, pretty much like praying upon people. They don't want to believe it. They don't want to hear it. Well, guess what? That's what they're showing and that's what they're doing. You know, that's their problem. They're doing the actions. They're the ones who are acting upon them. You know, that's their problem now. It's out there teaching their daughters how to self-defend you know, defend themselves to carry pepper spray, to carry a weapon on them now these days because they want their daughters to be safe out here, don't matter how old they are. There's uncles who are also teaching their little nieces to protect themselves as well, too, because we got too many people in Crawfordsville, Indiana, trying to act like pedophiles down here. And when, <laughs> see, but how the way they're acting, that's what they're showing, okay? If they go, well, they're, well, we're not, but look at how they're acting. They're circling a female. They keep coming at a female with three boys. That's predator-like. That's a predator behavior. See, that's what I'm saying, though. These boys better learn that uh, that's not my fault for calling them pedophiles because that's how they're acting towards me. And I had every right to scream at them to get away from me yesterday. I don't mm. care if you liked it or not, but it looks like you called backup. So that would be about one, two, three, four, five. About uh, five men ganged up almost on a female. Now, I don't know if they were there because of the kids. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it was. Like I said, the one is from CHS. And it's horrible that the neighbors know that kid and lets him keep doing this. That's a problem. 
I bet you he is unaware, too, of what he's doing. You know, some people do not ignore this out here. People are going to be aware of it every day, even more, whether people likes it or not. And then recently started up, like I said, first time with eight months, and then seven months in a row, like crazy, stopped when I screamed at him, when he says, Yo, why is she recording me? That's when he stopped. Last year. And then started recently, yesterday, started. And it's probably going to start from here and every day in a row. It's been a pattern with that kid. And I do pay attention to patterns very well. That's why everybody hates my guts. That's why nobody likes me. Because I bring awareness out here. It's because I will speak upon it. And I think others should be aware. If anybody knows these kids. To let your daughters know. To be very careful of what they do out here. To protect them at all costs. And make sure that them boys don't try to act up either. You know, now these days, people do have daughters. And men are going to know. And they will protect their daughters from men like this who acts like this. Rather, these kids like it or not. You know what? That would be really pitiful if those people had sisters, but they go out there and prey upon others. You know that? That's really sad. I bet you one of them has sisters. But you're showing that you are a predator. Not a protector. You know what I mean? That's really weird to me. <laughs> you know? It's really strange to me. You know what I mean? Very odd. Very strange. On their behaviors. Uh, you know, last night, I don't know what was going on, but I was in a very, very heavy sleep. Last night, I heard somebody crying last night. Really hard. So I'm kind of wondering if something may have happened. And these kids were crying last night. Kind of wondering that. Because I was hearing too many things. I don't know if it was like a download or not. But it just sounded like there was arguing. Like arguing. Like kind of making a point across. And then there were kids crying last night. So I'm kind of wondering... If someone stood up and said something about what these kids are doing, or excuse me, teenagers, the reason why I call them kids is because they're not in their 20s. Excuse me, in Crawfordsville, Indiana, once you turn 18, you're an adult. Excuse me, so I guess they are adults. But still a fact. You shouldn't be doing this to females out here. And then you expect to be Gucci with others. That's not how that flies out here. You know what I mean? It just doesn't fly up like that. And it doesn't fly. Because most people are not going to ignore this. Especially not their behaviors. For sure. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I told you I'll make you famous if you kept screwing with me, too. I'll let everybody know your faces and know who you are. And you thought I was a joke. I told you, you keep screwing with me, I'll make you famous where it's not really the famous thing that you want. So you kept it up, kept it up. Well, guess what? I just made you famous for being a pedophile, 
A rapist and a predator. That's what you're famous for. Congratulations of your actions now. You're going to have to make your bed. Now you're going to have to lay in it. You know what I mean? You made your bed. Now lay in it. Now are you done screwing with me or are going to still keep it up? We'll see how far this goes. Much longer. But if I have any more proof, I'll talk about it. I'm not going to ignore it. But now you're famous. I told you. Like, these type of people think they're doing it in secret. But when you got somebody out here who... See, this is why I always keep proof. Because I knew there was going to be a point in time where I was going to have to show what I was talking about. And then these people get mad, they get upset, they throw a fit. Because they thought they didn't get caught. See, that's also another thing, too. Is that these kids... Uh, last year, he must have been 17 or something. So that's what he thought. He thought he was getting away with what he was doing, right? Now that it's shown that they're not, that they were not slick about it last year or this year. Oh, trust me, they're going to throw a fit. They're going to say, well, she's stalking us. No, 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 no. You better know the difference there, Sonny Boy. You better know the difference between what you're saying and what I'm talking about. You better know the difference before you speak out of anger towards me. I told you, I will make you famous. I will make rapists, pedophiles, predators famous out here. I'll let them know who you are, what you look like. I told you, you kept fucking with me. I was going to make you famous. You know what? Let them wobble in their own demises. Now, are you going to leave me alone? Or are you going to keep up being a predator towards me? Let's see how far you're going to keep going until karma hits at your doorstep. I think I'm off here. Hope you guys have a lovely day. Hopefully you guys know who their parents are. Hopefully the awareness is spread around. Because I believe that there's fathers who are going to protect their daughters very closely. And they're going to watch their kids very closely. But this is all I got to say.